Bob said you don't... Darling, I've been calling and calling and calling. Where were you? Sorry, honey. That friggin' jag blew a fan belt on the way in. Oh, I am so beat. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking, oh, that drive from the city is so long, you know, it might be safer if I spent a few nights in the office. What do you think? I think that you should take a look at this. Jesus Christ. We're going to sue the bastard. Hold on, Mary. Who are you going to sue? Your mother? No. I'm just going to wring her scrawny little neck. OK, OK, let's just look on the bright side. Even bad publicity is good publicity. We're going to need all the help we can get when love and the rinse cycle comes out. Excuse me, but may I ask, do you mean by that? I read the manuscript. Frankly, Mary, I'm worried. Why, why, why is everyone turning against me now? First of all, I refuse to publish it. Now you tell me you hate it. I don't hate it. I just don't know why you strayed from the formula. Because I, in case you don't know it, Bob, I'm an artist. And ever since you came to my house with the children, my life has changed. And I must reflect that in my writing. Mary, <laughs> let's, let's not exaggerate the significance of your writing, OK? We're not talking about art here. We're talking about a product. A product? Yeah. What exactly do you know about literature, art, or creativity? After all, you are merely an accountant. Yes, well, accounting can be very creative. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure it can be. Yeah. If I didn't keep my eye on the bottom line, you and all your artsy friends wouldn't have a pot to piss in. Ugh, you are so crude. So crude. How dare you insult my beautiful friends? Because that is the real world, Mary. So wake up and smell the cappuccino. No. No. Good. Where I... are you going, darling? No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Sad Mary Fisher. She's learning that men who burn so hot for a mistress cool off fast when the mistress starts.